Judy with two E's, Sill. Um, this is a great record, by the way, if you haven't checked it out. Judy Sill, self-titled. Um, a lot of songs about Jesus. Um, okay, so uh, this is in standard tuning with a capo at the first fret. That might be a nylon string guitar on the original recording. If you have one of those, it might sound even more like it. Um, uh, okay, so, um, and it's finger picked. Um, I tend to play a song like this with my thumb, index, and middle mostly, and then I bring in my ring as needed. Um, there's definitely some different approaches one could take. Um, so I'll show you how I do it, and if there's a way that works better for you, you should do it that way. Um, all right, so the first part is like this little riff that's at the beginning and kind of comes back at the end and is all throughout it in different forms. Um, so start with third finger, third fret of the low E, third fret in relation to the capo. And my thumb's gonna pluck that low E, and then you're gonna play the D and the B. Now this is your first place where you have an option. You could do that with your index and ring. I do it with my index and middle. You could even theoretically do it with your thumb and index. Anyway, that's how I do it. Then you're gonna pluck that again, and then hammer on first finger on the first fret of the B and second finger on the second fret of the D. So this makes this into kind of like a C, C over G shape, right? And then pick the first and second back up and pluck the D and the B again. This is a good riff to play because it's versions of it are in a lot of songs. Okay. Um, and then there's this little hammer on thing. So this is open D, second finger hammers on the second fret of the D, then open G, and then second finger hammers on the second fret of the G, and then play the G again. Open two, hammered on, open two, hammered on, open. Um, I'm doing that all with my, in the right hand, with my index. But again, you could do it with your thumb. You could do it with your thumb and your middle. Um, you get obviously a different sound with your index and your thumb. My th nails are a little long now too, so I get that real finger, finger, fingernail sound, but you can also do it with no fingernails. Okay, so that's the riff. It happens three times in the beginning. Two, three, oh, four times. Well, the fourth time it just does that, doesn't do the thing, and then it does this. I did that with my thumb. Two, three, four. Um, so this is, I'm using my second finger, third finger, and fourth finger on the A string to play second fret, third fret, fourth fret, right? Um, you could theoretically do it with those fingers, however you want. That happens a bunch more. So this, this is another good thing to, to get. Okay, that's the end of the intro. That brings us into the verse. Okay, first chord of the verse is this. Open D, G, first fret on the B. And in this hand, I'm doing my thumb on D, and then my index and my middle on G and B. So it's thumb, index and middle, index and middle. And then it resolves to this. So, so after I play that, my third finger goes back to the third fret on the low E, and now my thumb plays the low E, and my index and middle again play the G and the B. Then you do this again. Two, three, four on the A. And then it's an E minor chord. Now, finger picking wise, it's an E minor chord, but finger picking wise, it's just playing thumb on the low E, and then index, middle, and ring on G, B, and E. So you really don't need to put down the E minor. I kind of do just out of habit and because then if you if you accidentally play other strings, it sounds better than if if they're open. So you play this. Uh, so in the 
low E and then G, B, and E, and then my pinky, or it could be your third finger, comes in and plays the third fret on the B. And then you're gonna go into this, A7. So now my thumb moves to the A string, my index plays the open G, and my middle finger plays the second fret on the B. Play that together. So, this is your E minor, low E, top three strings with those three fingers, third fret on the B, and then A string, G string, and B string, and second fret on the B string. And there's this little thing. It's like three, three, two on the B, and then two on the A. I think, he, I think she goes. So there's another little A string, so it's like, you play this chord, then play the, um, play the A string again, and then play the third finger on the third fret of the B, maybe with the G string, and then hammer, uh, pull off from three to two on the B, and then second fret on the G. It's kind of the hardest part of the song, I think. <laughs> And then it's just a C chord. And it's thumb plays the A, A string. And these three play the top three. And this little three, four on the A. I play it with my third finger and my pinky. You could also do, you know, you play your third finger for both of those. And then back to this chord, which was the first chord of the verse. First finger on the first fret of the B and you do thumb on the D and then index and middle play the G and the B. So, and then you're right back to that little riff from the intro. Um, then now that's the that's the verse basically. Now um, it ends differently when it's when the verse is repeating itself. It does this again, the two, three, four to bring you back. So. Uh, uh, have you met my When it's going into the next section, I've been calling this the verse, but I guess it's really the chorus. So that's really the chorus, and then the next part is really the is really the verse. When you go into the verse, you do. So it's two different endings. One is and one is now low E, B string, G string, and I'm plucking that with my middle and then my index. So that brings us to the other section, which we'll call the verse or the bridge. It's called the verse. It's called what we just did, the chorus, and call this the verse. And the verse starts with this B minor. And I'm just gonna plug it like this. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, so, so get into this chord. First, plucking the A, the G, the B, and the E with your four fingers here. Thumb, thumb playing the a, index playing the G, middle playing the B, ring finger playing the high E. Then, D, G, A, E. I think. And that's thumb, index, thumb, ring. You know, it'll also sound fine if you just do whatever you want. Um, as far as like, just keep some plucking going there, but yeah. So those four notes, then D string, G string, A string, E string, then a little walk up, second fret to third fret on the A. I'm plucking those both with my thumb. Then back to this, the first chord of the verse, first finger on the first fret of the B, and um, the little rhythm there is like, Index and middle, index and middle, thumb, index and middle, thumb, index and middle. And then, it's an interesting chord. So I'm playing it this way. Third finger on the third fret of the A, pinky on the third fret of the B. And then this little circular picking pattern. A, G, and B, D, A, G, and B, D, A, G, and B. And I'm doing that thumb, index and middle, th index, thumb, index and middle, index, thumb, index and middle. Another part that you could do different ways, you could do it with, if you get your ring finger involved, then you don't have to move anything. You 
can just do thumb, middle and ring, index, thumb. And then this walk down. So this walk down is going to also after you've done this. Now into this chord shape, second finger on the second fret of the A, and I'm using my pinky. You could use your third finger for the third fret of the B. And now thumb plays the A, index and middle play the G and the B. Then to this chord, which is open A, open G, and first fret on the B. Same thing. Thumb plays the low note, and index and middle play the G and the B. Now into this chord, a G, so now your thumb is going to move to the low E where you're playing the third fret, then play the G and the B. Then, cool chord, second finger on the second fret of the low E, third finger on the second fret of the G, same picking pattern as this chord. Thumb plays the low E, index plays the G, middle plays the B. So that whole walk down is... And then back to your E minor. Now it's going to be low E string, top three strings, and then just the G and the B. To this chord, top four strings now, first finger playing the first fret on the A, thumb plays the D, top four strings, then just those strings, and then, um, wait, sorry. C string, um, C chord, first finger on the first fret of the B, third finger on the third fret of the A, thumb plays the A, then play the top three strings, then just the B and the uh, G and the B. That's how I played this last one, is um, second finger on the second fret of the uh, A, pinky could be your third finger on the third fret of the B, thumb plays the A, these three play these three, and then lift that pinky and play the open B. So, um, something like that. And to this chord, thumb plays the open A, first finger on the first fret of the B, index and middle play the G and the B, and it, it goes back and it goes uh, A, G and B, and then, do, 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 that's, Open A, second fret on the A, third fret on the A, and then again that G and B with the first finger on the B, and then back to this, our first chord. And this time she goes D, G and B, G and B, D, G and B, D, G and B. Okay, that section always loops you back to the chorus, um, which happens four times. So there's three times of the of that section of the verse, and there's four times of the chorus. After the fourth time of the chorus, you go into the outro, um, which is short. So, uh, have you met my man? When it's going to the outro, it goes back to that verse thing, that riff thing. <laughs> and then, a chord we haven't had yet. <laughs> First finger on the first fret of the D, second finger on the second fret of the A, third finger on the second fret of the G, and pinky on the third fret of the B. Pluck everything. And then it's a, it's a pattern sort of like this. Something like that. It's like everything A, G, and B, D, G, and B, A, G, and B. Again, anything that keeps the motion going will fi sound fine. <laughs> I think that's what she does. And goes to a C, just like something we've done before. A string, top three string, and then a little walk up from three to four. Back to that chord. So, Most high, my man on the and then it does this again. this chord with the first finger on the B, the second finger on the D, and the third finger on the third fret of the low E. Okay, that's the whole song. That was a lot of information. There is a full tab available in my Patreon. The link is 
in the description. So if that helps you to look at it, otherwise you'll just have to do a lot of pausing and taking notes. Um, but uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments and, um, and uh, I hope you're uh, having a happy new year. And uh, thank you very much for watching.